In the future, not so far away, some of us will be living on Mars or continue to live on Earth. Our planet as we know it will be different. Machines will do all of the work. What will matter is our happiness. But what is happiness and well-being? Happiness to me means going out with my friends or eating ice cream. <laughs> Being surrounded by people that you love and care about. Well-being is like being mentally and physically healthy and happy. It's really important because if you don't have well-being, you could be sick or depressed. If you are in grade 6 to 9 or year 7 to 10, then listen up. You are about to create history by taking part in the first ever Dubai Student Wellbeing Census. This means that every single student in Dubai in these grades will answer a set of questions. Your answers will help us to help you be happier. This November is our chance to tell each other how we feel. All your answers are anonymous, so you're free to be yourself. Talk to your parents about the census. Make a difference in shaping your future, because you matter. Three plus years, KHD have started the journey about happiness and well-being, because we do believe this is the next big thing in education. The census will ask a bunch of questions about your social and emotional well-being, your physical health and lifestyle, and after-school activities. When I was doing it, I knew that it was going to make our community and school happier. I felt that I could be honest. It showed me that they really want to know how we feel in our school. And what do teachers think about measuring well-being? We feel this census is going to bring about a shift in the system where inner values, where goodness, compassion, kindness, giving value to family is going to have a lot of good impact on the way our adults think at school and the way the learners and the curriculum is redefined to enhance happiness in schools. There's a number of students around Dubai in different backgrounds, different ethnicities, and they all face different problems, so hopefully this allows us to look into it in a little bit more depth um, and focus on those subgroups and make sure that we're targeting everyone. We are about enabling the student to be empowered, to find their own happiness, and they need to understand what it is to be happy. And what do parents think about measuring well-being? I talk about the first year of the 21st انها تركز مو بس على الجانب الاكاديمي ولكن ايضا على مهارات الطلبه وتخليهم يستكشفون العالم وينطلقون من صغر. I want them to develop the emotional capacity to be resilient, to take risks, to be creative, to have faith in their abilities and have the capacity to develop a happy future. Our theory is the following those schools who focus on the well-being and those children who has a high level of happiness and well-being, they tend to do better, not only academically, but generally better in life. And we'll be able to see the causality between one to the other. And we'll just have to wait for senses to prove that theory for us. May happiness be with you and me. <laughs>